my channel. My name is Atiyah. You can call me Teal or Sunny, whichever one you like. And I am back to show you guys this effortless makeup and hair look. So if you guys want to see this look, then definitely stay tuned to this video. So all I'm going to do is pretty much braid my hair down. Like, I love this hair. Well, I'm not going to say I love it. I like it because it's very soft very very soft and i always love ali julia's hair but this hair it fooled me like it freaking fooled me the first day i got it let me show you how the hair looked so the first day i got it this is how the hair looked you see those curls that's not how the hair looks no this is how the hair looks so when i wet it this is its natural curl pattern like it's is dead looking. So all I want to do is braid my hair down these sides and then I'll take it out once it's dry so it's like a nice little wet and wavy look. So I'm just going to put my scarf back on because I fixed my baby hair in the front. And I want it to lay down nicely, so I'm gonna just tie this kind of tight, but not too tight to the point where my head was hurting earlier, so yeah. So first to prime my face, what I use, well what I'm gonna use today is a Too Faced Hangover RX because my face was feeling kind of like dry lately. And this is a moisturizing primer. It's very nice, it has coconut water in it. So it's gonna hydrate your face. So now I'm gonna take my favorite pore filling primer, which is the hashtag no filter primer. And this stuff is the freaking base, like ever. And I'm just gonna work this into my face. But I put a little bit on the back of my hand. You only need a little bit. At first I was putting like a whole dag on bunch on my face, but I didn't even need that much, so yeah. And this stuff gets a little white. So if you're darker than me, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay don't think it's gonna make your skin look ashy because it doesn't make my skin look ashy so you see what i'm saying like it makes your face look a little like grayish kind of so i'm gonna take my l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation and i'm gonna put this all over my face like this because i like to do it like this instead of using my little beauty blender in my hands i don't like getting my hands dirty when i do my makeup so I do this. <laughs> You'll see now I look crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. A lot of people like when they see me blend out my foundation. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. Cause I haven't really been putting it in my videos in a while. So now I look a bit orange, like a pumpkin, but I'm going, it's going to like oxidize and all that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and conceal and I'm going to use my NYX Gotcha Cover. Y'all know that this is my favorite, <laughs> my favorite concealer ever. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on my face and blend it out and then set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put some concealer on my eyes. I already put some on this eye by accident. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on there to cancel out any darkness so that when I put my like eyeshadow on, it'll look nice and smooth and just better, you know? And the color will really stand out. And then I'm gonna take some of my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and pat that on there. And then now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I always contour my nose before I get started on my eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take today the Makeup Geek Complicated. It looks like this. I hit pain like a while ago. 
because it's just that good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a line here and a line here. This is like the perfect warm slash cool slash. It's just everything. I love this freaking contour powder. All right, so I had to start over my eye look because I was going to do like this cool tone makeup look, but then I just wasn't feeling it. So we just going to do something different. And I'm going to use my Morphe 3502 palette. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here. I'm going to take this shade and I'm using my Sigma E35 brush and I'm going to use it as my transition color. All right, so now I'm gonna take this pretty orange right here and I'm gonna put that all over my lid in like a dome shape. And then I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit. All right, so now for under my eye, you see how this one looks? I'm gonna show you guys how I did that because I went off camera and I was just like, what do I wanna put under my eye? And I just did it. So what I did was I took these three colors right here and I'm using my Sigma E34 brush. And then what I did was I put my like, my mirror like up here so that I can look up. And then I just went right under my eye and I swooped under there. Then I took this, what is this? The Sigma E21 brush. And I'm taking this color right here and I put that as close to my waterline as possible. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Downtown Beauty and I'm just going to put this in my waterline. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX matte finishing. I want to finishing spray. I'm going to take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I want to uh, give myself a nice wing, you know? Alright, so now I'm going to just apply some of my mascara and then I'm going to apply my lashes. They're going to be the Dodo Lashes in the style D309 and you can use my code if you like these lashes that I'm about to try on. Well, I'm about to put on. Uh, it'll be in the description box below or it'll be on the screen. Okay, so now for our highlighters, I'm gonna use this real old palette, okay? When you see it, do not make fun of how it looks, all right? It actually looks worse than it looks on camera, but yeah, it just got a whole bunch of stuff on it. So I'm gonna take this glow kit in that glow and I'm gonna use mm, dripping and gold and probably a little bit of golden bronze. And I'm gonna highlight my face, okay girl? Okay. But now let's move on to contour. And I'm gonna contour with the same color that I used for my um, nose. So for my lips, I wanted to add a little bit of starfish. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it easy and helpful like usual. I hope my videos are kind of easy to follow along. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what type of colors you want to see next because I am starting to do an autumn series, like a fall makeup looks videos. I'll probably do like five videos of fall makeup looks. You know what I'm saying? Like strictly fall makeup looks. So let me know the different colors you guys want to see. I'm thinking maybe green or purple one time one time for the one time and um yeah follow my social media accounts if you want i'm on instagram and snapchat at naturally.sunny and i will see you guys in my next video bye